family what's going on welcome back to another video today we're gonna do something real simple but i need to make a stop at o'reilly's first because i gotta pick up some goodies i didn't even check if they even have it but it is what it is i'm literally rolling down the street right now letting the car warm up man transmission like my baby girl right here so yeah i haven't really been driving her on camera much Hopefully the wind is not too broad. Yo, it's a perfect, what the, pop the moon roof. Talking about, what to open this bad boy up? It's a beautiful Sunday today. Me and Shelly literally just came back from Santa Fe. We went to like a spa resort. I was back from, um, I actually had to go to AutoZone because O'Reilly's had not. I'm sure that's what I picked up. So we picked up a uh, 3M tape, some uh, Gorilla Glue adhesive spray, and a no spill cooling filling kit. This thing is important because when I was bleeding the coolant in belly, I had coolant going everywhere about, well, I should have had one of these, so next time I do it, and I'm going to need this because she is going to get a new radiator. Speaking of belly, damn, I should have parked her back right here. So, I double checked the hoses, and just to make sure there's no leaks, no nothing, blah, blah, blah. Remember, I only changed my upper and lower hose, radiator hoses. I didn't worry about that hose in the back that was leaking. Uh, come to find out, that back hose is not leaking. Um, it's been dry ever since I changed both hose. It's been dry ever since. So I think when I had the skunk to um, upper hose, I just didn't have it tight enough and it eventually leaked. But now I have the hyper racer on there and it's fine. And then that back one doesn't leak. It's ironic that that back hose is not leaking because I got the OEM hose and not just the back hose, I got all the hoses back there as well too. So this is the, the part number. You wanna see what I picked up. So I was talking to Kendall that I'm gonna bring the car by his shop so they can do that because originally they were supposed to do the lower, upper and lower hose. The special guest that I had coming was my dad and my mom and my fam, whatever. So um, I showed them the car and I wanted the car to be together so I could show them the car and blah, blah, blah. Now that they come and gone, um, car's running perfectly fine. There's no leaks, you know, it, it's fine. Like there's no issue with it. The other day though, um, actually today is Sunday, so on yesterday actually. I go on my way to work and then I stop by Squeeze to get a smoothie like I usually do. And I got in and Belly was not starting. And it wasn't, it definitely wasn't the battery because it didn't sound like a dead battery. Like everything worked perfectly fine. It just wouldn't crank over. It would slowly try to crank over. I was, I was telling Mark about it and he was like, oh yeah, it's probably your starter or my alternator. But what I really think it is, is my clutch. I haven't changed the clutch since I had the car and I knew that the clutch was going out. Um, I mean, you can drive and feel it, but now I think it's really, really, really going out. So I think I had the clutch in and it wasn't catching or something. I don't, I don't know, maybe it's not the clutch, maybe it is the starter. But in my opinion, I think it's the clutch because today, it start, when I was going home from work, it started perfectly fine. And today, I just drove it just now, it started perfectly fine, so. No, no hiccup, nothing. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that we dropped these off to get service, uh, I think a few days ago on Wednesday, and I already got them back. They told me it was gonna be a week, but I already got them back. It's so funny, because with these uh, bikes, I think after 100 hours of riding, you should do a level two checkup. And then I think after, I think 30, so 30 days, you do a level one checkup. Oh, uh, what is that, a year? Yeah, a year, you do a level two checkup. I might be saying that wrong. Anyways, they just came, both came back from their level one checkup. Look how clean she is. So I do want to make a video bike ring, and I will. Um, I just been kind of want to add more miles to the bike and get used to it more. And then I'll show you guys what it's like mountain biking, but that video is definitely coming soon. I actually went on like a real like difficult trail with one of my, my old coworkers and I was huffing and puff. Bro, my lungs was about to explode. And speaking of that, me and Shelly actually been going to the gym now. So you guys are probably wondering why I haven't been uploading much. The last video was like a week ago, a week and a half ago, whatever. It's because we just got a lot going on. We just got married. We got a honeymoon coming up, you know, so we got a lot going on. There's something missing on Belly. I don't know if you guys noticed it. It's been missing for some time now. And that's what this video is going to be about. I don't know if you guys have noticed. You know, there's something missing right up here. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna install, and that's why I got the 3M tape and all that good stuff. I was at work, I don't know how long ago, just like months ago, and this thing blew off in the wind, because the I used the, pretty much this is a eBay um, window spoiler. Bought off of eBay, and this thing blew off, the wind blew it off. So when I first got this thing, 
I pretty much um, didn't add my own 3M or nothing. I used the, the 3M that came with it and it's garbage. So it slowly melted away. And look how look how deformed this thing is. This is the thing with eBay stuff, man. Sometimes they just don't align. So you see this thing doesn't like fully go towards the whole shape of the car. Why is it so filthy? So you can see with it on, you see there's a gap underneath. So my game plan is to use the adhesive and a better 3M tape and get this thing on here. But what I need to do is clean up that window first, clean this thing off, it was all scratched up from when it fell off. Like it blew off at my job and then it was just flying across the parking lot. Shout out to my guy Josh, he saw it, picked it up and put it in his car. And then he let me know. But yeah, I'm gonna go clean this thing up real fast. So I could have did way better on this thing, but guess what? Now this video is about, now this video is about this. But I kind of just slapped this thing together. I'm, I'm gonna keep a stack with you. So yeah, so I did like different parts because obviously it curves, so you can't just have one long line, but yeah, it'll work. I, I think it'll work. So I'm gonna add the adhesive. I'm gonna take the red part off and then add the adhesive on there. And it, me and let's see if this thing sticks. came from I think I got a garage but yeah we're not here acting a fool look at this thing on here that's kind of how I like it, but it's whatever. But first of all, doing this by yourself is impossible. Like you definitely need two people to help line up one side. You probably saw me in, in the little time lapse. I'm running back and forth, running back and forth. The fitment on it is is, is horrible, disgusting. Um, I did close the gap though, so there's no gap underneath. But you see a bunch of the tape still under there. The 3M tape. This thing is pretty brawly. I'm not gonna hold you. That uh, the little roller had. Um, I did a tester of the adhesive spray and it was so sticky and I didn't like the little residue left on the window so I actually scraped it off like I, I um, used the window cleaner and scraped it off and then just used the 3M tape by itself. I'm going to keep it a stack. If this thing falls off, then it falls off. Alright, uh, this is how it's going to look though. Now he's kind of back to normal. But yeah, it, it's whatever. It's going to work for a hot. It's going to work for right now. It is what it is. But yeah, take a look at this thing. Pretty icy. I mess with it. You guys can't really get a good idea of how it looks in the garage, obviously. So next time, um, next video, something like that, you see. And then the thing itself, it's already like you know bent out of shape and it's all deformed or whatever. But next we'll look to add to your car, switch it up. I mean, when you install it properly, don't do what I did. But the the 3M doubles the 3M table, those things, that thing is sticky. I think it's on there. When I first put it on using the eBay one, it was not like that. That's that's different. But this stuff right here, I mean obviously it says heavy duty, but this thing right here, brolic. I mean, if you really want this to be on there, then you use this, but like I said, I kinda don't want it to I don't know. I don't know. It's on there. That's all that matters. It's on there. <laughs> 